Hello, hello everyone and welcome. This video is going to be an extension to an early video that I've made called Join Region, or kind of extension. Uh, there is something you should know when working with the linked components. Uh, it's a component that we are importing into an, to, uh, our assembly. There aren't much uh, you can do with it besides attaching it to your assembly with a normal joint command. And um, if you want to create a joint origin, on a link component, <clears throat> you have two options. First, let's take a look at this example. Now, as you can see here, um, on a second, my mouse again is teasing me. So I have this component here uh, that I've created, and this is the uh, linked component, as you can see, uh, with the chain icon here besides. Um, so if I want to, attach it to my assembly, uh, I can do that, no problem, with just a normal joint. Now I can just uh, choose a point and uh, attach it. So far so good, but let's just say for example that uh, I want to attach it, I don't know, in a different way and I, and I don't have any um, the point that I'm looking for, maybe it's somewhere here in the middle for example, yeah? And I don't have a place here, um, a point to connect to, so I want to create a joint origin. But you can see it doesn't really work because we are going to actually create something. And unfortunately, right now, uh, linked components you cannot do much besides what I just show you. If you want to do anything with it, so uh, you have one option: you just right-click on it and choose Open, and then it's going to open it in a new file. And uh, from here you can do basically whatever you want. Uh, you can create the um, joint on region here and then uh, remember to save it. For example, I'll show you if we do it like this. Um, we're gonna create it. And let's just say I want to create it here. Um, okay. And I'm gonna bring it upwards and this way. Okay, so first we have to remember that we need to save it because if not, it's not gonna um, work on the other side. See, now we get this warning that there was an update. We click on this uh, triangle here. And that's it. So now you can see we have this joint origin that we just created. And now we can, uh, you know, go normally as, as usual, create a joint here and uh, select another place. Oh, just a second. Choose this one and go to, for example, here. And that's it. Yes. So um, it's working okay, it's working fine, but you know, when you have too many of them and if you want to control it, you're not happy with the position, then you have to go backwards, you know, go back here to the file, change it, and again, back and forth, back and forth. It's not really that fun. So um, the other option is it's to um, remove or break the link. And the moment you do that, there is essentially no way back unless you go with the backwards here in the top. But the moment you're going to save the file, so that's it. It's here. And from here, you can actually um, you can go in and uh, do whatever you want with it. And you can see also we also moved the joint origin here. And uh, so we can do we can delete this one. And we can uh, now create something, uh, create a new joint origin on it. Okay, it needs to be snapped somewhere. And uh, yeah, as before, we can just create our joint origin. And we're going to create our joint. Voila. So, as it for now, 
the linked uh, component, we cannot do much about it. Uh, I know the Fusion uh, 360 team are actually working on it. We don't know yet how, how long time it's going to take before it's going to be on uh, production. But uh, for now, you, don't, you cannot do much about the uh, linked component. Um, especially in generally if you are working on assemblies and you have a lot of linked components so you have to take it in considerable that if you want to do some if you need to create to do some editing to your components then you're gonna have to open it and then you know save it and then go back to the assembly and then refresh it and so on and if it's so I would say it in general like this <clears throat> if it's a component that you know that you're going to edit then break the link I mean, what's the point to have it? Uh, because it's not like a standard component that you're not gonna change, which is fine. Then you can have as many linked components as you want. But if it's a component that you, you are going to change or break the link, uh, it's gonna make your life a lot more, much more easier. So um, yeah, so that's it for now. I just wanted to make sure that you're aware of that. If you're creating a joint origin on the, um, link component and you don't understand hey what the hell what's, what, what's going on here why is it not working so this is why remember that okay and yeah that's it for now don't forget to subscribe and hit the thumbs up button and if you have any question please write it down in the comments and i'll see you in the next video ciao